Yo! We are here live at some gymnasium in Collegeville, <laughs> Pennsylvania. Ursinus. The Ursinus campus. Ursinus. For a big game between the Ursinus College Bears as they take on the Rosemont something or others. Raven. I don't know. The my Raven. name's the Evster. I'm here with uh, my good buddy, Zuith Roy, who I literally met an hour ago. What up? We had breakfast. Uh, Zoo, what would you think of breakfast this morning? I, I enjoyed my breakfast. I got Eggs Benedict. It came with a side of home fries. They were... They were tasty. <laughs> the same exact thing that you ordered. How, I, how did you enjoy it? Yeah, I don't know why. I don't, I don't think I asked you what you had for breakfast. I knew what you had. I also had Eggs Benedict. I told you. I thought it was fine. Our friend, our friend, Diane's came with us. He had an omelet without cheese. That was strange. There's very, no reason to get an omelet weird. without cheese. But, Sue, let's talk about this basketball game real quick because Ursinus is 1-7 and seven on the year. Riding a one-game winning streak. Which is nice, but to be honest, I was a little disappointed that they won on Wednesday night. I kind of wanted this to be their first win of the year. Well, they're buoyed by the news that we were coming to campus. It's the college game day effect. <laughs> So you're saying that elevated their game on Wednesday? I'm taking full credit for that win. I'm not surprised. Um, Rosemont, on the other hand, we don't know anything about these guys. Yes, we uh, do. We know their coach, Bobby Hughes, St. Joe's alum, friend of the blog. That's nice. That you, I don't know anything about him, but you he, know a lot of information. What do, you, what do you think of these guys based on warm-ups? I tell you what, I'm impressed with the warm-ups. I, uh, that's largely rooted in the fact that I am not athletic. So when I see anyone, like these guys can touch the backboard when they do layups. And they they make their jump shots. I'm, I'm very impressed with both teams, in fact. i, I got to be honest about the Rosemont warm-ups. I appreciate just standard layup lines, which they're doing. Yes. Whereas Ursinus was doing some sort of, like, wacky pass-the-ball, move-around stuff. Ursinus is riding the wave of a one-game winning streak. They're feeling it right now. Just let them enjoy this moment. Oh, we got a camera person next to us now. Two. Two camera people. <laughs> Emails. So basically, in this gym right now, to hey, set the here. scene for you, all of you at home, even though you you can see it, I, I recognize this is video. Yes. I'm thinking we got 35 people here. Most look to be parents. A um, couple dudes sitting up top the in the Helfrich back. Hooligan, there are nine Helfrich hooligans here at the moment out in the student section. So clearly no, I, no one has any idea what you're talking about. But here at the arena, there's a, a sign that says Helfrich hooligans, where I guess... I guess children are supposed to sit there and yell. They're like the Cameron Crazies. Yeah. Well, there's one. Look there's at that guy. That dude is stretched the F out. Good for him. you got to get stretched before this game. Yeah, that's a kind of reminder. Don't curse today. That's our one rule tonight. Don't curse. Uh, it's not a night. It's an afternoon. The announcers always say night for games. <laughs> oh, I got a note. An interesting note, Efster. Rosemont's colors, maroon and white. But they got a wrong shipment from Nike. They actually made green shirts for their coaches, and they're just rolling with it, and they're why, wearing green. Why not? They all look nice in their nice green shirts, black pants. Yep. Um, the Co one dude, head coach, is holding the clipboard. Normally, you don't see that every day. Normally, an assistant has the clipboard, but he seems to be enjoying himself. Yep. He's looking good. He's scouting his opponent. Dude, Ursinus is a guy. He is a house. Number, <laughs> I mean, he's big. Number 34, Joseph Lestraco. All right, so you want to talk about this dude. So Archbishop this is, here's some Wood. actual information we have about this Lestraco character, He's right? A house. So last game. I think he, he works construction. He went, uh, that would be illegal. Can you work uh, and get an, a, a Division One scholarship? He, he's in D3 and they don't have scholarships. <laughs> uh, so, so Big Fell was 11 of 11 last game. Of that course he was. Look at him. <laughs> He had like 39 points in their first win. They scored 100 points, which is incredible. It set the scene for everyone. If it's, if it's out of, it might be out of picture for y'all watching the live feed. The coaches are shaking hands with the refs and hugging each other. It's collegial. It's a collegial atmosphere at the university. I'm, I'm anti-shaking hands before a, a, a game. Yep. I've never really been into that. I'll do it after the game. That's fine. Oh, Rosemont, but, Rosemont's you know, doing one of those huddles where everyone puts their arms around each other and rocks back and forth. They're getting pumped. They're, they're A, they're not rocking at all. They're, they're standing completely stationary. And one guy. And you're saying guy. that like you don't like those huddles. I like huddles. It's teamwork. It is. One of the, now, key distinction or sinuses coaches are wearing suits. You just got really quiet, Zoo, and the whole Everyone gym got, got quiet because it looks we're like about to do the national anthem. we should probably stand up for that. Do we stand? I'm standing. Do we go off the air or do we let it play? I think we obviously let it play, but I'm going to shut up while this lady's singing or okay. whoever's singing. Do we have to stand? I'm standing. Okay, I'll stand too. So many wires at our desk, by the way. <laughs> I 
Everybody. Okay, so we're sitting right by the scoreboard. <laughs> no, no, everyone's standing. They're looking. Mastraco's looking at the flag. Smart guy. I'm taking my headphones off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing along. What so proudly we held That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave For the land of the free Lovely. Lovely rendition of our national anthem as Zoo is texting right now. Wow, I don't know what he's texting me. He just showed me a picture on his phone. It's really something. It's a picture of my daughter watching this broadcast. All right, we're going to shut up and let you listen to the starting lineup. Can they hear it? No idea. Crowd's 13, but Kai Clemens seems like a nice dude. Oh, they all look very nice, actually. Very nice young man. They're shaking. They shake hands with the refs, even. That's smart. Try right. to build a little, a little rapport, like we did at breakfast. All right. So far, the Rosemont uh, hand slapping stuff was pretty lame. <clears throat> pretty standard clapping, jumping into a dude. Let's see what Ursinus yeah, has. The, the huddle. The huddle was pretty cool. I can't get over these green shirts. Oh, there's Knowles. He's a player. Kid's a player. <laughs> He is a player. Janicott, France. He had D1 looks. Princeton, the Hunt School, lots of money there. Are you making stuff up right now? No. Or you found out He's this information? France. It was in the notes. Did you read the notes? Aren't we all from France, though, when you really think about it? The Hunt School. That's where that kid who went to Florida State. And, and there's your big boy. Doctor. There's yeah, your big boy. He is. is he wearing tights? Uh, he's got something underneath. He's wearing tights. You Trying can't to keep see it all any in there. skin on his legs. That's, you don't see that too often. All right, these ref, this one ref is very fit, running out to yes. midcourt, Look, all tucked look. in. Watch him tap the far side like, ooh, and a stretch. Bounce it, spin, squeeze. Pretty good stuff, kids. Yeah, you're not even watching right now. Zoo is, is tweeting something. I don't know. Meanwhile, this ref is notes. so strong. I've never seen did biceps like that. He just flexed. Of course he did. No, it was not even in it. Oh, we have a photographer along the baseline. Let's see if these kids uh, nice slap lens. five here. Probably not. I wouldn't. I would just shun every one of them. Don't slap. Don't go so, to pound it. They're a bunch of pounds. Their hands are obviously very sweaty. That's why you go with the pound. We're going to be keeping an eye on number 42 in Rosemont. Dom Scafidi. My sources are telling me that he is the baller. He's got some terrible socks on. But uh, here comes the strongest referee in the history of the world to jump ball. He's wearing green socks to go with his red shoes. Not the ref. You're talking Christmas. about Dom Skabibi. And we, oh. are, we are off as Malik something or other drives to the rack. Got to make that layup, buddy. Scafidi. It's a terrible way to start. All right, so I got to probably figure out what this guy's name is, but a nice young man is dribbling the ball for Rosemont. And her sign is man-to-man. -man. Who cares, right? Swinging around a little bit. Oh, looking for a play. So first play of the game, they're already pulling it out and having to reset. That's not a good start for Rosemont. Clayton Wolf at the point, driving. So you're just taking over play-by-play -play duties. I, I, I was excited that I looked up his name. I understand that. I appreciate that. But clearly I'm doing the play-by-play. I was play -play. showing you how it works. Yeah, you thank got you. it now? Thank you very Look much. Look at their names. Yeah, 2 nothing, Rosemont. This game's pretty much already over. <laughs> <laughs> but Ursinus, I guess they might as well swing it around a little bit and try to stay in this one. Get it one. to Los Straco. 
Hart's construction. Well, Stracco's doing nothing right now, and that's a strip. That, that could be. That's an early sign of our TV. My wife watches lazy pass of the game. That'll lead your coach to bench you. And Rosemont, dude, is just jacking a deep three. Scafidi, second rebound. Look for him. Triple-double. So what do you think of that? Second possession here, Zoo. Dude just bombs a 26-foot three without looking to pass it he all. Was, he was definitely feeling it. Nice dish. Oh, and, oh. And, then, and then he passes up on the seven-footer. You got to shoot that. Rosemont, Evan, very Evan, patient. They love pulling it out and resetting. That's their thing, basically. Evan, did I ever tell you about the time I hit seven threes in one pickup Yeah, you told me about that. No one, no one is even close to impressed. Rosemont using a lot of this shot clock. Nice D there by Malik. That's the only person's name I know. Weak shot, and your boy Don with a board. Just cleaning it up. And they're going to pull it out and reset because that's what they do at Rosemont. His apparently. hair. He has nice hair. He does. It's tall hair. It's Shoot nice it. Shoot it. Love bombing the threes, though. These Scafidi. young kids Scafidi. today, man. These young kids just love bombing these threes, and her sinus has to break. Another nice lazy steal. pass. Nice Another one in contention for the lazy pass of the day. And now it's Slop City. Oh, nice bounce pass. All right, this is your boy Knowles. Average look to the Frenchman, and he lays it in. 2-2. The sinus on the board. Remy. Ratatouille. And now Rose Model swing it around for 20 seconds and then pull it out and do something. That was the rat's name in Ratatouille, right, Remy? I th uh, could have been. I figured he was I'm just. I'm almost uh, certain. All right, pull it Remy. out and reset. Here it comes. My daughter loves that movie. It's a good movie. They're French. Scafidi. You can't stop him. Left hand. Left. You can't stop Lafiti's left hand. 4-2. Rosemont in the early lead. Rafferty is a good handle. Well, he's a point guard. I mean, that's that's understandable, you know? Have to be these days. Nice, nice little pick and roll. A little roll. too much. A little too much right there. And Rosemont looking to run before they pull it out. They're trying to stick it into Lestraco, but they're, they're forcing the ball. That wasn't there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. That O is in reference to Lestraco almost murdering someone who set a pick on him. I wasn't watching. I was just sort of enjoying the so game. He's so big. He's 6'7", Some, 280. Yeah, and he just got jade up. I, I'm Six telling you guys right now, Scafidi's a stud. Well, uh, the dude's, the coach's wife told us before the game, that was your inside source, by the way, that yeah, he was a stud. Wife, Bobby's so the coach's wife, Carolyn. <laughs> She's also the source on the uh, wrong colored shirts. She's oh, basically the source of, of every bit of information that we have There's right now. There's a lot now. of contact there. Let it go. Ooh, angry. Uh, that's a walk. That's a walk. That's a walk. Definitely. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the fact that um, clearly we are skilled play-by-play -play announcers. The fact that we were able to recognize that walk before the yeah, those, uh, the dude, what's he called, a referee, the guy yep, with the shirt? Steve Leonard into the game for Sinus. Good old Stevie Leonard. He's actually a three-point bomber. Number two. He is six foot six, 160 pounds. Stew on that one. Wow. He Slender fella. Real thin. They took Lestraco out. That's a mistake. <laughs> he was getting lit up by your boy Scafidi. Scafidi's going to kill this guy. 25. That's what no he chance. does. That's what Scafidi does. That's his patented move. Drive left, spin around, right arama. 8 2 Rosemont. You got to think Ursinus might call a timeout. Scafidi, soon. four points, at least three rebounds by my count. Ursinus goes into the offense. You love doing the play-by. Is that what you want? You can do the play-by-play -play because no, I, I, when there are gaps, I fill in. I don't. You want, you sometimes you got to let a gap go and just watch a little game. Matt Knowles in your eyes, Zoo Brick Ooh. City. Nice board by the Frenchman. Good board and one. one. Your boy Scafidi just couldn't. I mean, yeah, he scores on the offensive end, but dude, you got a rebound on the defensive end. He's upset. That's Remy the Rat. All right, that we. So you're going to be saying that all game apparently, but yeah, Remy the Rat. He's from France, which is amazing. Yep. And uh, I'm he's telling you. The, so we can talk during free throws, right? Well, yeah, sure. Ursinus' SID gave us some notes. He prepared some, some handy notes, and Remy had some D1 looks. That was in our notes? Yes. D1 looks from where? D1. Okay, I understand that, but there's certain levels of D1. Probably getting, like Duquesne, maybe? That's not bad. That's great. I made that up. So here's your boy, Scafidi, just killing it down low. 17 well, moves. The fit ref. He, I like when he calls a travel because those biceps don't quit. Okay, first of all, that wasn't the fit ref. That was the other ref because there's he's a much fit. more. He's definitely fit, but he's not the fit ref. That guy's jacked. No, that, that guy's more fit. The fit ref just inbounded. No, it. that dude's got a gut. This ref is more fit. Crazy. This guy's filling out his shirt so much as Matt Knowles brings it up, swings it to my man Malik. Now I know two people's names. That's nice. 
A size <laughs> player, the best player in the big business fella. Oh. on the break. Slows it down. Love, they love slowing it down. What number did you wear when you played ball, Ev? Oh, I grew up wearing 13, and then uh, as I got a little oh, oh they got an offensive foul on your boy Scafidi. Scafidi's getting active. That's what he does. I mean, do you really care what number I wore? So yes, I wore 13, I and then as I got older and baggy clothes were in, um, number 31 jersey was incredibly baggy, so I switched it up Nick Van Exel style. There you go. Oh, my God, you're right. His arms are huge. Thank you. I'll give you that one. My bad. So fit. All right, so at the uh, first break, 15 minutes left in the first half. <coughs> Rosemont up 8-5, and so far, Zeus, Scafidi killing him on the offensive end. He's four points. He does have a foul, but I'm not, I'm not concerned about that. Um, oh, I guess that was the old 30-second timeout. That horn is loud. <laughs> Number 50 on Rosemont is getting some water. you got to stay hydrated hydrate. in these environments. Even on a, on a cool day like this, it's very important to stay hydrated. I'm surprised doesn't wear a headband or something. I mean, that's a lot of hair. When, when that gets wet, that's going to be in his eyes. And you see him. He was just pushing his hair out of his face. As Matt Knowles now playing the point. They're running play number one. I'll so tell you if what. I were, if I were a Rosemont coach, I see what this set is because it's number one. So next time he holds up the number one, I know what's coming at me. All right. So what's coming 20, at you? 25 flash. Nothing. All right. Uh, Man. Steve Leonard leaves it short. It's a tough shot to shoot right off the bench. And here comes Rosemont again. Should probably learn some of these Rosemont players' names. Point guard number 20. Dude's name is Clayton Wolf. Clayton Love it. Wolf. Great name. Love that dude. From Give it back to the Wolf. Scafidi's obviously shooting. That's what he does all the time. <laughs> he missed and the a track rim. Meet. He missed the rim. Steve Remy. Leonard with the Euro step. Get it out. And he's not hustling back. He's no, absolutely no. hustling back. Now he is after he stopped the look. Clayton Wolf. Hey, Love man, it. If that's, if that's how you want your players to conduct themselves, that's on you. Whoa. Oh. Mediocre crossover. Pull it out. That's he what Rosemont does. Over. I mean, I've tipped over before, but not with playing a sport. Woo. Wolf to Scafidi, obviously shooting. It's what he does every time, and it's automatic. Triple. There's no reason. I mean, dude's obviously the best player on the floor. Pass it to Will. He's got seven of his team's 11, and Rosemont with Rosemont the constant with pressure, pressure, which is pressure. so annoying. Note that. So annoying. If you're a point guard. Sure, because yeah. right now it's like sort of annoying that the dude picks you up, yeah. but as the game goes on and you've got this little dude in your face, all look at that D right there. It's it's so D. annoying. Great D from Rosemont. Remy is battling in the post. Got to hit that, Nolsey. Wow. There it is. From Hell's Heart, I sink a three. I still don't understand that. You were That's saying Moby that Dick. on the drive up here. Moby Dick. When, you were saying how you wanted to uh, say Ahab, that line. When Ahab kills. Well, so you, kill so when, when you're Ahab saying. Throws the spear at the whale. That's what he yells. So we're given the opportunity to call a college basketball game, and you're quoting uh, Moby Dick. Yes. That's fine. Yes. That's fine, I guess. Oh, there it is. Gotta Play take Wolf. that look. That's fine. That's a good shot. Scafidi probably should have got called for that over the back, but... Scafidi just does whatever he wants. So we're sinus down three right now. Chance to potentially tie. He, Leonard he, loves to jack threes. He's so skinny. Swing. Oh, there it is. Good oh, movement. Malik, good spacing. Catch that, bro. Good movement. Drop the ball. Like, literally. Not figuratively. Literal. He dropped the basketball. Good pass to the big fella. Oh. In your eyes, Scafidi. Oh, it's so frustrating. Wyszynski is just... Probably frustrated. That's a charge. Good call, fit ref. Good call, fit wow. ref. Wow, I totally disagree with that, fit ref. I do not think my man was set. I think the offensive dude was just flying in the air. He had the right to do what he wanted. Whatever this, that means. This white ref is a nerd. Look at that hair. Oof. Could be a very got nice. got Steve Lavin going probably on. Probably a very nice guy who, with in his hair. afternoon, is refing a college game. And Look you're calling him a nerd. More pressure from Rosemont. I mean, he's, he's wearing gel. Like LA looks. If you're going to wear gel, that's the gel to wear. <clears throat> Rafferty back in the game. Point oh, guard oh, looking oh. for your big fell. Great kick Dang. out to the Malik. That's automatic. Skinny guy with the save. Second chance. 32 points. doesn't move. He just stands in that spot. He's about to drive baseline. He's done it the last four possessions. Give it to the big fella down low. He's working. Make him, make him feel appreciated. Wow. Good pass to the bench. <laughs> The bench was open. You got it. I mean, the bench was wide open. I don't fault that young man. The sinus coach, Kevin Small, is wearing a sport coat, but with, with khakis. Yeah, it's embarrassing. I'm more of the suit look. He's a nice-looking man. You don't wear a jacket. Wear a suit. 
He looks like he's going to dinner at the country club. I don't understand why anyone owns khakis, let alone pairs them with a blazer. Scafidi looking to shoot. Great move. And a Euro step. Scafidi with now nine of his team's 13. He's on pace to have 74 points. More full court pressure from Rosemont. Sinus is going to Patrick McCongo. He's going to be coming in at the next break. The McCongonator. Nice he's drive from, by the he, PG Rafferty. He's from Cameroon. Of course he is. The sinus is a well-established pipeline to Cameroon. 13 <laughs> 10 or sinus. McCongo's a sophomore. You're still talking about McCongo. He hasn't even checked into the game yet. 6-7, 32, he's leaking. Oh, oh great athletic play. Amazing, 13 on Rosemont. Mackay Clemens. He's out of college. Well, right here in college, he went to Perkiomen Valley High School. Playing in front of his uh, friends and family. He had to get 35 tickets for the game in today. In front of the hooligans. Oh. By the way, great take by Clayton and Wolf there. One. Nice call by Rosemont, right? Game getting out of hand a little bit, a little sloppy. They pull it out, let the Wolfinator go to work. Now, his assistant is wearing a suit, so that's an even worse look. When your assistant outdresses you? Well, just because he's wearing a suit doesn't mean he's outdressing him. He's outdressing him. It's a nicer tie. Too. He is outdressing him. He's clearly outdressing him. I just, I'm, I'm not a fan of that look. It's a terrible look, especially on Hanukkah. What's Hanukkah? Great question. So here's my man Clayton Wolf, by far my favorite player in this game so far, even yeah. though he can't hit his free throws. 15-10, Rosemont. Knowles up ahead. Is this a, this is a new Get it dude. to McCongo. There yeah, he is. There McCongo you go. Get him a touch. Got to get him an early touch. He's, here's Rafferty. He has cool hair. McCongo's taking 32 spot in the offensive set. Ostraco's oh, here's the big boy. busting his butt down low. Get him the rock. Oh, oh he's killing that guy. He's... All right, Wolf. If I'm, if I'm her sinus, I'm fine with that shot selection. It's great, great look. That's Give it to your go. big fella. That's so he misses. Go. Big deal. Here goes Wolf on a clear out. A little spread offense. Good spacing here. I like the spacing. That's a foul. One on called. Ooh, that's a push. I mean, Wolf wants to operate all day long. Baseline, Baseline jumper, clean. 33. Is that George Lynch? That's Kadeem Diaw, uh, actually. Looked like George Lynch to me. And I wasn't paying attention. What just happened? Timeout? 20. The guy with the 30, khakis. dog. 30 in, in college, 30. I believe. I'm not sure. Um, scoreboard's out. That's what's actually happening right now. Uh -oh. Scoreboard has gone out. And it's back. 15-10 at the 10-08 mark. Yo, Zoo, probably a good time to read one of our questions, uh, our Twitter questions that someone threw out us. Pull out your phone. Now you're not even doing it. Do we have any? Yeah. I told people to ask us questions on Twitter, so let, let me whip one out and see. It's um, kind of cliche. Is it? Well, what else are we going to talk about? The Congo's uh, Cameroonian roots. All right, let's see. Let's see no, a Twitter about to get question. Back into it. Okay, forget that. Let's go go back to Twitter in a sec. As Rafferty, what, more of this full court pressure. Enough already, man. It's just going to tire his legs out constantly. What kind of shoes is he wearing? Those are nice. Look With at the, number five sneakers. <clears throat> foul off the ball. I think it was your big fella trying to clear oh, some yeah, room. Oh yeah, he totally housed that guy. Charles Presley is wearing some nice sneakers. They almost look like skateboarding sneakers. They do. Or are they Vans? Could be. You want me to get my source on maybe, it? Maybe one of those old. Those are nice. If you guys are watching the broadcast, are they like BK Knights? If you can make out what he's wearing on his feet right now. First of all, no, no one's watching the broadcast, number one. Number are. two, what about the fact that the rest of his team is all wearing the same sneakers, but he's trying to be an individual by doing that whole thing? What do you think about that? Maybe he forgot his team issued sneakers and he's wearing some... Just so he clearly he didn't forget his team issued sneakers. He's making a statement because he knows he's wearing Re amazing sneakers. Remy's going to be coming back in the game for the U. Can't can only leave him out there for so off the court for so long. Big fella, nice you got to get that board. Oh, good play. Oh, there track it is. me. Dunk it. Dunk it. Ugh. It's all right. Finger Don't be so disappointed in Matthew Alden going coast to coast with My the easy lane. My initial scouting reports were that Ursinus wants to get out, run, play above the rim. New Dunk City. They scored 100 points last game. I'd have dunked that. So I mean, here's your boy I'd, with I'd the fancy sneakers mill. now running the O with my man uh, Wolf Dog out. What a dish. Out. What a dish. Oh, number 10 almost fell when he landed. That's because Big Dude was on the ground. With Straka's winded. That's a, right. nah, I'm not a fan of that call. And why not, Zoo? Why aren't you a fan of that call? Because it looked like a fine so call. It was, it was after the pass. 
and I didn't think he was set. Okay, it's two two solid reasons. I agree with you then. Thank you. Um, Zoo, someone probably just checked into the game, which seems to be your favorite thing to talk about. But <laughs> it's Remy. I already said he was he was coming in. <laughs> yeah, five minutes ago you told us he was coming in. Well, I was waiting for the whistle. He can't. It's not hockey. He can't just run out there on the fly. Ev, I don't know if you've noticed, this camera girl is giving us the strangest looks when we launch into. Um, Oh, man. That's the story of my life. I didn't realize your boy with the sneakers was a left-handed, but he just threw up a terrible look in Jay. Yeah. And now Rafferty it brings it up. Into the... It wasn't the best look. Big crowd. Big crowd. Big crowd. Big crowd. Loud gymnasium. Sinus likes to look in, but they rarely dump it into the post. Yep. That's a nice look to the Frenchman. Oh. And he gets hammered. He'll go to the line That's for two. Good call. Frenchy good call. LaRue. I forget what you were calling him. Ratatouille? It's an average nickname. Ratatouille. If they take it to the hoop. So our sinus is down 17 to 12. As the Frenchman Remy goes to the line, who Zoo is claiming got great looks from Duquesne. <laughs> Duquesne could have used that free throw right there because last night, as you know, um, Ryder upset Duquesne, the Duquesne? Dukes, and they Duquesne? had a they had oh. a terrible free throw shooting night last night. I always night. get Duquesne and DePaul confused. Well, DePaul DePaul is, is clearly Chicago? the better scorer. No, they both stink. They played as far as basketball. Yeah, they're terrible. Paul had like Mark Aguirre. Who's Duquesne had? No one on the court right now was alive when DePaul was good at basketball. <laughs> That's a good point. Except for that incredibly fit referee who probably played at DePaul in the early Mal '80s. Malik Draper into the game for the U. I actually do appreciate you telling me who's coming into the game because I haven't noticed anything. Congo battling down low, He's establishing a good position, goes up strong, missed shot, and he gets the board. Run it. Let's run it, boys. More full court pressure. This one from an albino. And apparently this dude is from Pittsburgh, we heard. And his parents come and, come and see every game you as Noel dribbles it off his foot. You can't say that. He's not albino? Great look by Lefty with the <laughs> ridiculous sneakers. Hair. Up ahead in number 13, oh Makai Clemens. Our sign is struggling now. 19-13 they are down. More intense D from Rosemont. Right That's your a push. chest. The Frenchman pushes off. Normally the French aren't aggressive. But on Hanukkah, it's a whole other story. It's when the French really come out of their shell. So when, when Rosemont brings the ball up the court, viewers at home, there's a very confident fan sitting in the front row, lounging. Love her. She'll be crossing in front of her right now. Yep, Ponytail lounging. City. Lounge to the USA with the riding boots and the tights. Meanwhile, Zoo, uh, Ursinus <laughs> has dropped into a little... 3-2 defense, little zone. You don't see the 3-2 too often. But we're seeing it now. I think I'm a bigger fan of the 2-3. Rosemont the two, just one, swinging two. it out. Nice patience. Boy with the uh, crazy sneakers. Good probably dish, probably shouldn't dish. call him boy. Not that it's not the proper <laughs> nomenclature. I apologize. Well, you just called someone an albino. Meant it, meant it affectionately. I just want the viewers to know I am not offending any of the players because I respect them. Flashing. That's your albino. Now, Pat, no, he has to move that quicker. He flashed to the to the foul line. When he took the pass, both defenders at the top of the zone came in. Could have kicked it out to the top of the key for a three. That's Didn't cool. do it. Matty Knowles with the ball. <laughs> Just go ahead, Zoo. I don't, I don't even have to say anything. You want play-by-play, -play, color? Uh -uh. What else you want to do? I'm fine with this. Go ahead. There's your boy Matty Knowles again, swinging no. it to the Frenchman. That's obvious foul. Definitely. A Over lot of a lot of Ursinus' offense originates down in the right wing. Uh, they're probably going to have to mix it up some because it's getting a little predictable. 32 is down there earlier. 2-2 two -two is down there. They, they, they work it into that corner. And they're, they're not moving it out of that corner very well. See, look. Look at 10. There it is. Same thing. They love that right corner. Everything's in that right it's wing. It's a lovely corner. Well, they're losing, so it's not that lovely. Good move. And here's my man with the sneaks again, the little lefty. I should probably figure out his name at this point. Nice ball movement from Rosemont. Charles Presley. That's his name? Get, All right, Chuck. Just call him CP. He's like Chris Paul. Okay. That nickname's taken, but with whatever, if you Oof. want to give him a... I, no, CP3 is Chris That's Paul's nickname. He's just good CP. Point. Here's my man, Malik. This, this is the name that I know, and he does love going to that right baseline. Every single play is eventual. Oh. That's a terrible call. That is a bad call. Let him play, ref. He got Mark Wonderling on the foul there. I mean, it's a screen 28 feet from the hoop. No advantage was gained. Let yeah, him play yeah. a little bit. CP comes out, going to take a breather. <laughs> My man, the wolf is back in. Between his two coaches in their green shirts. 
Clayton Wolf really does steady this Rosemont team. I don't know what's going on with the top of his drawstring and his shorts, but he likes to fold over move. That's the fine. CW. Our sign is still in this rinky dink 3 2 zone. Remember but they've got Rosemont. Got to no. find gaps, Wolfie. Don't remember it. Find the gaps, get in there. That's uh, obviously Skiffy. going up. He shoots every time. Rafferty, push it, my man. Oh, oh, oh. I, I realize, oh, 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 probably wasn't very helpful to the viewers. Number 10 is not scared. No, Came off the not. bench. He's firing. Here goes Wolf Shoot. Dog. Great look. Got himself in a bad position there, but he still got the shot off. Great look by Wolf to find Makai Clemens. Those two work well <laughs> together. What is that? Who, what, look at the press. Look at two guys up in the press this Constantly. Time. Constant pressure. They have a little length at the top of the press, too. It'll make those cross-court passes a little more difficult. When five's at the head of the press, it's a little easier. You put the ball over. All right. Big fella, you got to go to work. <laughs> Can't have that. A rinky-dink double team. He just went to work passing it to the wrong team. Man. 3-4 after a huge game, as Efster noted last time. Um, starting a bit slower today. Our sign is now down eight as Rosemont just picking apart this zone D. Yeah, they need to mix it up. Wide mm -hmm. open. Brang. Good board, big fella. What are the three-point percentages so far, you think? Uh, I actually have stats in front of me, but it's very hard to look at oh, as Malik goes to the Malik. cup. Scranton, PA. 21-15. Oh, oh, Scranton, PA. Scranton, PA. Hometown of my father and an Really? It's a really garbage hole of a town, but... Is there any, any anything or anyone you're not going to insult? It's going up. <laughs> Frenchie with the board. Boom. Sinus coach is trying to urge their players into this offense. They immediately pass it to the other team's bench. It was deflected. Zoo, we got some people coming in. You better tell us who it is. Your boy Chuck's coming in. Yeah, 2-5. And Andrew Wisins. Good old Andrew Rzuszki coming in for Steinus. His first action of the game. He looks excited. Slap a pick. Didn't even hit him. If you're going to come in the game, slap him with a pick, Rzuszki. Oh, dangerously close, but backcourt there for no reason. Rostrako's dead tired. He needs some orange slices. Passes it to no one. As Zoo takes over play-by-play -play duties again. Scafidi wanting the oop. Good look. Was that intentional, that pass? Oh, was that? By the wolf dog? It may have been an accidental pass. Both teams looking to push at all times. And nice little driving kick right there. For the 14th miss three from the right wing. That's a flop city. Definitely. Flop city from Makai Clemens, which I appreciate. I'm fine with the whole flop thing, Zoo. How do you feel about oh, flop? Oh, I love flops. It's a, it's a good move. You're Part psyching the, the ref out. You got him. Exactly. It's not hard to psych that guy out. Look at that hair. Oh, my. Ugh. Who are we talking about? The dude with the gel. It's oh, the, it, was gel ref. it was gel ref. Stevie Labs. Rosemont up six now as the Wolf Dog swings it around. CP back to Wolf Dog. Whoa, Whoa good shot fake. <laughs> and a nice little drop. Oh, that's oh, got to hit that lefty. Chuck, I'm, bang. I'm not a fan of that shot, though. If you're going to shoot it from that far away, shut take a up, step back Rick and Pitino. Hit you, yeah, I, we know, we know. Like it's fine. Italian. He got a good look. It was fine. Ricky Pitino. That was his whole thing. You can't really? shoot a... Oh, big yes, fella. Yes, Lestraco. So here's the thing, Zoo. Big That's so easy, right? Big fella down low all day. He looks very tired, though. It's easier said than done, Esther. Easier said than done. So Rosemont has slowed this game down, probably because of this rinky-dink 3-2 defense for Versinus, but they keep getting good looks, but the game has slowed down, and it's only a six-point game. Maybe the coach will change his pants at halftime. I don't think he will. CP great it. look. Scafidi walked, got away with it. You keep calling him CP, huh? Do I have to adopt that nickname? I'm still anti that nickname. That's fine. More pressure from Wolf. Let's get it down into the right corner. Jeez, every time. Zoo, they I mean, have I'm, the ball on the left is. side of the get, floor. There it is, there it is. Yo, look at that. A shot from the right corner. Oh, and they missed. Surprise. Color me surprised. Just keep going to it, Khaki. Just keep going to it. Oh, this horn is so loud. All right, it's time for the zoo with Roy. Who's checking into the ball game? Moment of the game. Go ahead, buddy. Maddie Knowles and Remy Ratatouille Jenica coming in. Let's it, see this out of bounds play set I'm up in a box. I'm excited to see this. Matt Knowles for three. Buckets. Oh, big rebound. Big rebound. And he Barely, barely reached the rim. There's a big there boy. There he is, big All boy. Scafidi didn't want any part of that. He was ducking away. 
Lestraco, no idea how many points he has. Four. He's four points. Nothing wrong with that. And once again, our sign is sitting back in this 3-2, so Rosemont has to just pop I mean, it around. Four points, that's more than 20% of his team's output. It's fun with numbers. It's amazing yeah. how that happens. Scafidi obviously about to Wow, passed in a great nice look. look. They, were, board, they were caught off guard by that. Let's push. Probably should get it down into that right corner. Oh, that's a smart play by Malik. He knew exactly what he was doing. <laughs> It's like the, oh, no, he bumped me just because I dribbled into him. Hey, man, take it if you can get it. Coach Hughes in his incorrectly colored shirt, not happy with the officials on that How one. could he be? Those are an easy two points as they're now in the one-on-one. -on -one. Malik did the line. Is it, are these the first free throws of the game? No. No, okay. we've had many free throws. Okay. I'd say at least three. This gym couldn't be quieter during free throws. That's good fans, good fanship right there. Nice. Nothing but net. N B N. And there you go, Zoo. <laughs> Kadeem Dial checking into the game for the Ravens. Are they actually the Ravens, or did you make that one up? No, they're the Ravens. It used to be an all-girls school. Okay. Now it's not. One fifteen left in the half. Malik sinks two. <laughs> Go ahead, Zoo. You got the play-by-play. -play. <laughs> I'll just sit here and play with these wires. Oh, stop it. All right. Wolfie's going to pull it out with a minute on the clock. Oh, oh. Well, nice. That would have been awesome. Good pressure by Rafferty. Rafferty, Rafferty just both got of them. in his grill. I mean, just pop it around a little bit, Rosemont. Make them work. Is nice. there a shot clock in D3? Yeah, yes, dogs there is a shot 12 clock. on the clock. 12 on the clock. Big fell with Let's a nice board. With the outlet. It looked like Kevin Love there. Oh, what are you doing? He looks so confused. Nice load. Dude, he's pulling it out. Give him a break. He didn't have numbers. Reset for Reset. Rafferty. Lestraco catching the ball. Lestraco. 19 oh, what a bounce pass by Lestraco. A little contact there, but we're going to let it go. Great block by CP to come behind on Matty Knowles, who is the leading scorer. And Matt has what? One point on the day? No, donut Ooh. for Matt Knowles. Hey, he's a team player. He doesn't look at just points. 20 seconds on the clock is the Wolf Dog. You can't measure hustle. Going to hold for one here. See, if I were 24, what I would do right now is just run out at him frantically, try to confuse him. But they're settling into the 2-3 zone, and he passes it to nobody. And that's why you are not a point guard at the D3 level, right? True. He sat back, did what his coach wanted, and they get a turnover. I'm more of a point forward. Five seconds, plenty of time. They say that should be five dribbles. I Thanks, want, Ev. You're a genius. Two, want, three, four, five seven dribbles. Threes in one game. Oh, Malik, my man. Catch the ball, Bobbles. That's the half. It's the half. Competitive game. 25-21. Uh, Rosemont. Rosemont yeah, I was oh, waiting for oh, you to say that. <laughs> Thank you. Trying to figure out which team was And this, leading. I tell you what, man. When, when Let's just stay under in the half and why banter. Why not? Let's when, just banter. When the game goes silent, or, or when weird. the game stops playing, the whole gym is just quiet. And it's just us, basically. Give a shout-out to the assistant coaches for Rosemont. We got Bud Toasty. Mike Dancer, Dan Kearney, and Rudy Wise the second. Uh, Rudy Wise Sr. was a great player Ursinus, in his day. We, Ursinus, we have Keith Hack and Will Fury, class 07. He is his youth. All right, let's go to, let's go to Twitter. I said that uh, I would answer some of their stupid questions, so let's see what these idiots are asking on Twitter. I don't think anyone really asked you anything, bro. Uh, listen, I'm telling you, a couple people asked me some stuff. Just give me a sec to look through oh, my feed. Oh, wait, here's Dan Foley. Could Rosemont beat the Sixers? Good joke, Dan. All right, here, here's a... Uh, was this, <laughs> this camera girl hates us, by the way. She should. She should. I hate us. Bring All right, up. so here's a question from some dude. Uh, this is from Steve P. Steve cool P. name. I mean, yeah. nice, nice for him to get that on Twitter. P. He asked, what's the origin of the word dribble, which is a... Boring question, but, but this Zoo. is why you don't do ask Twitter. Right, questions. exactly. It's We're awful. skipping to the next one. I wanted to tell you that the first question was not worth talking about. Okay. Um, next question: Should a guy in college? This is from Where's Ben Rivera. <clears throat> says, should a guy ben in college Rivera? really wear flip flops in the dorm showers? Is ringworm a viable concern or just a scare tactic? What? What? You don't understand. Should do? You, so do you really have to wear flip flops yes. in the shower in the dorms? Why? What if the dude before you, you know, peed? Right, but it's a shower. It's constantly flowing water down the drain. Good luck with that. No. So you always, in college, would wear flip-flops, like, while you were showering. I took baths. <laughs> When's the last time you did take a bath, Zoe? Um, a legit bubble bath, candles. A legit bath. Oh, we went on vacation, so it was March? 
May, May, in the Bahamas. I took a, 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 a tub and, right. and I drank in it. That sounds lovely. Yeah. It was cool. I, I had fun. I'm sure you did. Wow, that was a great story. Let's go uh, to the next question. <laughs> This is from it your, was a good story. Yeah, uh, this is from your boy Danger Guerrero, oh, the Don, one and only. It's Don Her. All right, so he's, he's asking: he's Do you think a dog could fly a helicopter if you put treats on the levers and knobs to get his attention? Thanks. I don't know why you're insisting. You weren't listening. That. You're, you're looking yes, at your yeah, own definitely phone. Definitely, he can. So, so a dog could fly a helicopter. Yes. Helicopter? No, 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 no. You know, a dog can fly a plane. The dog cannot fly a helicopter. All right, so there's your answer. Thank. I appreciate you taking the time to answer the question. Um, oh. so so Zoo, if you don't want to take Twitter questions, what I do, do you want no, to talk? No, no, I do. I'm, I, I do. Let's keep. Right, going. Or do you Can want to just do play by play of the whole halftime? No, I, you've I been just, stepping over me the whole time. I want to do a oh, confident girl. Like her stretches are so confident. Who's stretching? Confident girl. She was like, ugh, look at me stretch. All right, let's see what other questions we got here. <laughs> Um, I think you're right. Maybe there's not a lot of questions on this stupid thing. Listening to this. We got some scores from the region. Syracuse leads Villanova 25 to 14 with 8:13 left in the first. Okay, half. That's, that's upset city. Uh, uh, Eric Owens on Twitter has told us that his wife left him. Might be a good thing. It he happens. Might it happens. be all right. I mean, I've met a lot of wives in my day, and this doesn't apply to any of my friends' wives. But by and large, most wives are awful. Wow. And then when they leave their husbands, you're like, good for him. That guy's wearing knee pads. I hope he's a photographer. I don't mean that. Wives aren't awful. That was me joking. Okay, here's a question. Comedy. Here's a question from my man Rev, the Rev, Rev 215. He asked, will you be playing Annie Lennox's Walking on Broken Glace during halftime? Maybe. Well, you have no control over the music here at all. None, none whatsoever. Although I guess we could bring it up on YouTube and, and pop it into the microphone. That we're talking into. I'm a little distracted by the hooligans right now. Oh, man. Here's another question. Ready for this one? Cameron Crazies have nothing on those guys. This isn't even, this, this question doesn't even make sense. Oh, shocker. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it. That's all the questions I got. I don't have as many followers. As, and there's, there's nothing else. Our eggs Benedict were Yo, we have morning. 10 minutes until the, start, until the start of the second half. I say we pop these headsets down for a second. Yeah, let's take a five minutes. I have to take a break. A yeah, you do potty. what you got to do. I understand. Mm-hmm. Go All find right. out why that guy's wearing We'll pads. see you guys in five minutes. Yeah, chicken. I can't believe you're listening to this. Yeah, girl. Uh, what? Yep, see you in huh? five. Five minutes. Did you hit the button?
Ratatouille. Ratatouille. We are back. They're playing Blank Space, the Taylor Swift jam. <laughs> Love it. Okay, we got some halftime stats here, Revster. Oh, really? Yeah, look. Did you see them? All right, I don't care about the halftime. I mean, I do care about the halftime stats, but before we read the halftime stats... Go for it. Let me read a couple text messages that my wife sent okay. during the first five minutes of the broadcast Uh-oh. that I just caught Should up I with be right now. Here we go. First one was, you got this, Evie, have fun. Aww. With an emoticon of a, a corn on the cob and a cherry, which was quite nice. Is that sexual? You never know with that lady. 20 minutes later, she writes, take this a little more seriously with three exclamation points. Uh-oh. These kids Uh-oh. deserve You're your best. <laughs> You're blowing it. These kids deserve your best effort. No more they're in man-to-man whatever. Take some goddamn pride in your work. So your wife hates you. Oh, I mean, we all knew that already. I just thought she'd be a little more supportive. But I tell you, my, my wife got tickets to the Taylor Swift concert when she comes to D.C. to take my daughter. My daughter's four years old. She's not going to know what the hell's going on. Right. That's the story. That was the story? Yes. So you're telling me that after I read the text messages talking about my wife and thought we were going to continue maybe, that maybe, conversation. No, no, no. And you know what? I appreciate, your stats, I appreciate her sentiment. She has to realize, and, and don't take this personally, you are not a professional and you're doing well, your best. Th- I appreciate that. However, I, I deserve a kick in the pants from time to time. And well, you know she's what, right. Then? We should you take more pride. You have an opportunity. Pride. You right. have the second half of this game. So, Zoo, give us those stats, buddy. What's going on? Before I get into the stats, I want to note that number 14 on her sign is Robert Rossiter. The Rossinator? He's got a good shot in warm-ups. That means nothing. I know. <laughs> Robert Rossiter also has zero minutes played. <laughs> but he looks That's good. because he spent his he looks first, good in the line. He spent the first 20 years of his life just standing still shooting jumpers and never developed an all-around game. I'm kidding, beard. Robert. You're he probably has, a great ball player. He has a lot of beard. I appreciate Very you coming fair. out tonight. There it, it is. is. Pull up jumper. Okay, All right, Sue, give us some stats. My boy Dom Scafidi leading the way, 13 points. Obviously. Five rebounds. And Absolutely. Six, six for nine from the field. Beast. Next. Remy uh, over at or Sinus Edge. Remy's looking at six and six, 6.6 6 rebounds on, on pace for a double-double. Four turnovers. We're going to have to work on it's that. It's more math from Zoo right there, by the way. The math expert of the day. It's not as much math as it is reading. Well, the fact that you said he's on pace for a double dub. Oh, oh, yeah, it was. Thanks. Um, All right, keep going, Zoo. Is that, are those Ursinus, are the only stats you have? No, no. I have a, Ursinus is having a they're having a tough time with the ball. They have 16 turnovers in the first half and four assists. So it's a uh, .25 assist to turnover ratio. Thank you. Probably want to improve on that. I'm sure their coach is going to give it get them get them in the mood. I had a coach. Excellent, excellent X's and O's guy. Okay. And we were when I was playing CYO ball, and we had we had a big game, playoff game, and he, he got us in the locker room at halftime. We were not like our sinus. We weren't playing our best. He looked us in the eye and he said, "Guys, when you do it, do it well, and make sure that it counts." And we took that to heart. And we went out there, and we played, and then about midway through the half, we realized that was just a naughty by nature lyric. Mm. And so then we sank back down because he couldn't give us original thought. That probably didn't happen in her sinuses locker room. So you're telling me that as 14, a, 14, as a, te- to three. as a teenager, yes. a coach started spitting some naughty by nature lyrics to you guys. Yes. And that didn't motivate you. You needed an original thought. It as did. No, it motivated us until we realized that it was a naughty by nature lyric. And it felt cheated. I feel like that would have elevated even more. I've, I've never had a coach... If he admitted, if he told us. Right. Like, said, like, the, like the like great Tretch said. said. Yeah, like I got Tretch you. said. Right, sure. But he's trying to pass this off as his own. I want to note that number 22 on her sinus, my boy Patrick McCongo yep. from Cameroon, just threw down a dunk. So this guy is capable of dunking the basketball. I have no idea why he doesn't get it every possession. Well, maybe in the second half he will. We've got 30 seconds left. I'm coaching at the D3 level, and some dude from Cameroon goes out there and dunks the basketball. I'm running every play to him. Maybe a lob, maybe an alley-oop. I sat down with the assignment coaching staff last night, actually, when we were prepping, going through our meetings, and I showed them some of my favorite alley-oop plays. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Kind of disheartened that they're not using them. Plenty of seats still available, by the way, folks. Come on down. If you're in the Collegeville, Phoenixville area, step we've, on over. So as we start the second half, we've got Rosemont up 25-21. For those of you just tuning in, oh, God, that's loud. we are sitting right by the scoreboard. Couldn't be louder. We waving, have two waving to my fans. very young, nice women next to us running the camera. They don't like us. Why would they? Or maybe they're just playing hard to get. 
So, Zoo, seriously, second half. You want more of that uh, rinky dink zone defense from Ursinus that slowed the game down yeah, and Ur- got it back Ur- in? Ursinus needs to mix it up. Uh, what they're doing is not working, obviously. Scafidi scores it will. And uh, their offense, I know I was uh, stressing this in the first half, they need to diversify. They're, they're stagnant. Well, they've as, come. As evidenced by their 16 turnovers and four assists. That being said, they're only down four. They're in this game. They're back in that rinky dink 3 2 zone that slowed down the game. Maybe if they play crisper, they're up. My man, the Wolf Dog, does have the top of his shorts folded down, which I appreciate. Probably got shorts that were too big as Rosemont swings it around, takes their time. Scafidi's going to get it. He's going to shoot it. It wouldn't be a surprise considering their coaches are wearing green shirts. Mastraco looking refreshed. Probably had some starburst in the locker room at halftime. Eight on the shot clock as they swing it around. Wolf got to go to work with six on the clock. Gets a scream from no, Scafidi. Oh, Scafidi that's going up. Oh, Scafidi did this. I'm setting a pick. No, oh, give it to me, jacking it. Obviously. Didn't work. Down Matt Knowles right shut out in the first half. Doesn't want to look. God forbid her sinus have a set that doesn't start in the right corner. Nice screen by the big fella. Knowles has to get off the schneid. Needs, a, needs an easy deuce. That's to right. get I don't want to make you nervous, but your wife's words got through to you. I'm taking this seriously, man. This you is are. Chris second half. Knowles needs a bucket. Why not, Billy? Oh. Good rebound by my boy. Oh, nice. 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 Malik's got a nice, nice all-around game. I like Malik. Reminds me of a young Carl Herrera, if you know what I mean, the way he no snoops around the baseline. Or sign us down too. Zoo with Roy stretching out his calf right I have, now. No, I have too many papers. I'm putting some on the floor. Scafidi right. is obviously shooting. That's his 54th shot attempt of the game. Way off. And Ursinus has a chance to tie or take the lead. I don't want to catch you off guard, Esther. Scafidi has zero assists in the first half. <laughs> Go to work, big man. Oh, that's a tough one. They're breaking. They're running. They're running. Don't Wolfie. slow it down. Good Keep pass. It. Should probably know this guy's name. He's 50. been playing a lot. That was a good move by Marcus Thomas, Philadelphia PA, Manor College. <laughs> I had a friend from high school at the Manor Junior College. It's a lovely place. Pushes the lead back up to five as Rafferty gets her sinus into their offense. Swing it around. Malik's feeling it. He drives baseline like he always does and throws a lazy pass. That's our TV. My wife watches lazy pass. Oh, go, go, Alec. Running, 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 running. There you go. Dunk it. Dunk Here's it. Your boy. Windmill. Windmill. Or a layup. That's fine. Probably the time farthest out. thing from a from a windmill we've ever seen. Can we get a timeout. Rosemont Wait. takes a seven-point lead as Coach Kevin Small needs a timeout, and he's barking at his players right now. Yeah, he should be. He should be. He's barking at his closet when he pulled those khakis out of it. And just as we say that, they move the camera over to the Rosemont uh, huddle, where they're calm as can be, listening to the sweet sounds of Josh Groban on the... (laughs) There's some delicate jams being played at the moment. Meanwhile, our fit referee is getting us back into the action here. Our sinuses coach looks like he's about to pop a blood vessel. Direct some of that energy into a new offensive set. Rosemont's guard's probably going to pick up full court because they're the two most annoying people in the world. Constantly just dogging them. Constantly. And, and, and I, these things I'm saying about Rosinus' offensive sets, they're, they're rooted in respect and admiration. I just I want to see them play their best. Well, and I'm not implying that they're not doing their best. Just, the execution isn't matching the effort. Well, I mean, it's probably a testament to this Rosemont D. These guards you know get up that's in your way, grill. That's a way of looking at you it. Know? That's a good way of looking at it. As Basically, the, what I'm saying is I don't want Wags to get in trouble because the idiot from Twitter that he brought in to do color. Listen, whatever I'm trouble... I'm commenting. I'm commenting. Whatever trouble Wags is going to get in, he's already in it. Through Dyshawn Pack into the game for Rosemont. He's a freshman out of Philadelphia, PA. He's probably friends with Rondé Jefferson, who plays at the University of Arizona. Wow, you're taking this seriously now in the second half. Well, he went to electrical and technical charter school. Got a legitimate Your photographer. Words, oh, with the ball originating down in the right wing. Knowles, you got oh, to knock it down. To the left. Knowles, he bang. Oh, just not his day. I don't know what he had for Good breakfast at the Collegeville Diner. Should have had some eggs, Benny. I feel fantastic, Benny by the way. Fine. Rosemont up seven now. Her sinus does not go with the full court pressure. Well, they're, they're trying to slow down the pace. As the wolf dog slowly brings it up, they'll pop it around and probably get any look they want. Malik Draper's got some pep in his step out there. Which one's he? 32. He's pointing, he's talking, he's communicating very well. Oh, that's my boy Malik. I'm yeah, impressed by he's him. great. How many Maliks are there, Ev? That's a good point. Bang, 50, boom. 
All right, Knowles, go get that board and push it. Got numbers. Oh, oh. Give it to the big fella, Frenchie. Hands all over him. Good job, Frenchie. Way to draw some contact. Fell on Gray Sean Mack. I just made that name up. That's, that's the, the name I thought I heard. No idea what that dude's name was, but... Dyshawn Pack. Okay. Balls down into the right corner. Nice what a left move. hand, left hand take. Roll. Well done by Frenchie LaRue. He's not scared out there. Probably played hockey as a youth. Skated through the lane. Oh, my God. I'm leaving. <laughs> that was awesome. It was terrible. That was so good. I'm leaving. Was that the joke? You, you said you had a joke no, fired up not, and ready to that's go. that's not the joke. Don't worry. I'll let you know what oh happens. Oh, my gosh. Skated through the lane. Scafidi, you're obviously shooting it. He Why passed. are you passing it? He's going to get it back and shoot wow. it. We know that's Never happening. Cut. There he is. Flashing you're shooting it. Flashing on him. We know. Yeah. Nice half hook. Scafidi obviously shooting it. He's Scafidi, Scafidi did the super confident trot back down the court. Like he didn't even go to any place. He just wanted to be the one trotting down the court. Great oh, look. Oh, oh. Struck a bang. Great there look by Rafferty or <laughs> Hafferty. Forget that dude's name, but great look to the big fella. We've got a five-point game, so we need to stop. I'm good. Heading into the TV timeout. Next whistle. Rosemont just looking to pop it around. I'd like to see their guards slash a little bit. Find a gap, Wolfie, instead of jacking that three. Yeah. Wow. That's a heck of a rebound right there. That's Thomas. Marcus Thomas. He's having a nice second half. He is. I like now him. know his name. That's how you know he's playing well. I like what he's doing out there. Scafidi can't handle the pass. So, Zoo, my father always told me growing up, if the ball hits your fingers, any part of your hand, you need to catch it. Yes. Football, basketball, whatever. You agree? Should he have had that one? He definitely should have had that one. He knew it, too. He, he let, his, let his guard know that it was his fault. Because it was a lousy pass. It wasn't quite there. Yeah, but he still should have had You're it. You're right. Hits your fingers. you got to catch it. More full court pressure from Rosemont. Nervous because he was on the baseline. By the way, this is Nadir Stokes. Stokes, my bad. Yep. He is normally their starting point guard. And I believe he was benched for the first half. I mean, basically, he didn't play the first half, but now he's in there as Malik drives with the left hand. Malik's looking good. We got a three-point game, and now, as my man Nadir Stooks checks in, he's obviously running this club. Mikai Clemens also in the game. Very nice haircut. I don't know which one he is. Number 13. Number 13 in red. Great haircut. He's got the rock right now. He's got a fade. A good fade, too. Oh, this, yeah, this point guard looks good. Wow. Guy misses the rim on a layup. That happens sometimes. Malik does a little bit of everything, by the way. Come on, Leek. That's, that's he does do a lot of everything because that was, I don't ever need to see that again. Oh, well, everyone airballs a layup once in a while, Liv. That was like a Euro step <laughs> triple sal cow layup airball though. By the triple way, triple cow, you can say he skated in stop the Stop it, please stop. I'm gonna slam this headset down and just walk out of this gym. We got a three point game. By the way, the way this dude Nadir Stokes Stokes Stokes, I never heard that last name before, but God bless him, great last name. Yep. The way he just handles the ball bringing it up, you know this is his team. You can right? Tell. Look at him. He's a player. Oh, he called a walk. That's good. I don't want to see a foul there. That was good defense. Stokes is gonna pick up on Matt Knowles. I'd be shove. interested to see Stutes at the top of this press. Good, Let's see how good he slides his feet. position. Yep. Good lateral good movement. Oh. Getting, again, handsy. Yep. Got him. Let's get a little handsy there. Knowles did a good job with that pressure, though. Took yep. his time. Stutes has been sitting on the bench all game. He's fired up. Okay, Someone's C checking in the game. CP. CP's in there. What do you think about the fold over on the shorts? Do you even I notice mean, if that? If your shorts are too long, what can you do? You can't cut the bottom. I don't like Stoops' shorts. They're too long. So I'm, I'm all about the fold over if need be. Like, what if you dribble between your legs and the ball gets You're stuck? right. It's a valid, valid concern. I don't understand why basketball players don't wear the shortest shorts in the world. Makes no sense. Or even like a leotard. What's we, the point? Wyshynski's in the game for a sinus. Oh, thank you for telling us uh, someone checked in. Oh, did you want me to keep talking about <laughs> tights? Get it down into the right wing. <laughs> wow. That was, that, was a, that was a tough shot. That was a tough shot from Malik. I'm sure it was a tough shot. There were 13 guys around him. Like I said, it was a tough shot. Marcus being unselfish. He wanted it back. He's calling for it. Stutes won't get him. 
Maybe you didn't see him. He's off to his left. And Zhu doing play-by-play -play and color again. So I'll just sit here doing Scafidi, nothing. Scafidi with the turnover. Well, Scafidi hadn't shot the ball in 15 <laughs> seconds, so he had to make a move. He's frustrated. And there's the loudest horn in the world. As someone who hit seven threes in one pickup game, I can relate to wanting to get your shot off. 13-15 left in the game. 32-29 Rosemont. My boy Rafferty back in to handle the Stukes pressure. He's calm. He's cool. He's fine. Quick note, Evan. Yes. Coach Hughes was not happy with the officials. He was, he was having a little conversation as they came back down the court. Oh. Well, Coach Hughes needs to calm down. These officials are all nice fellas. They're very fit, especially that one guy who's Mr. <laughs> Olympia, 1977. Steve Leonard with the turnover. He literally doesn't know what defense they're in right now because he shrugged his shoulders and said, I don't know. Well, so he should know. That. That they should know because they've been in this rinky-dink 3-2 for the past 15 minutes. Stukes, great driving well, kick to the gunner shooting. of the year. <laughs> Schwackums. Nailed it. Triples. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's someone in the crowd who, when Scafidi hit that, threw up that, like, the, the three thingy. The it's three like, goggles. The three yeah, the three goggles. I thing. like the three gogs. So if you're looking. I'm looking. In the, he's in the gray sweatpants. Left side of the camera, because right now the he's camera is facing the Rosemont He's bench. fixing his, his sweatpants at the moment. Okay, I see him. Yeah. He's got his legs no, folded. His All right, so for those of you, right, so, so for those of you watching at home or wherever you're watching. Oh, he's watching, in camera. He's yeah, in camera. I'm trying to tell people that if you would shut up for three seconds. So dude's got his sweatpants folded over. He's on the upper right-hand part of the screen. By the black line. And, and he's a big Scafidi fan. He threw up the goggles. He is stretching. Why not? That Lounge, a buddy. confident stretch. Plenty of room to stretch out today. Come on down. 12, 12 minutes on the clock. Plenty of seats available. Time's flying by. More full, this more half is full court pressure. Get it to him. Rafferty's fine. You know, if they want to pressure Rafferty, he's fine. He's calling the play. It's not a big deal. Kind of anticipating a few more dunks. Like I said, I was showing them some of my faves. So this dude, Steve Leonard, he's their three-point sniper off the bench, and I don't think he's yapped a three yet today, but he, he wants a look. He weighs 160 pounds. Fine. It's about to go in your there eyes, you Zeus. Oh, there it is. He called it three. Oh. It was almost a four-point play, but he missed a shot, so it's not. He get it in the – no, he says it's called under the hoop before the shot. Stevie laughs with a good explanation. Without, oh, yeah, you're right before the shot. Let's watch this their sinus out-of-bounds play. <laughs> they ru love running this little box. Big fella has no idea what's going on. <laughs> he broke a little too soon. This is the oldest play in the book. Remember the time Villanova beat Boston College on an inbound play at the buzzer? That was good. I obviously don't remember that. How could anyone remember that? As uh, it sent them to the Elite Eight, but that's no big deal. NBD. You didn't even give me a year. Villanova's been playing basketball Will, for Will 84 Sher years. Will Sheridan was on the team. And Mike Nardi. Those guys. So like 2004 -ish? Solid year. Four-guard lineup. There you go. All right, Ursine is running the same exact play that did not work a second ago. Give oh, it to Malik. Down Great position. Valley, Malik. Automatic. Bang. Why not? I would pass it to Malik every play. Oh, look at it. Ursine's bench is up. Well, they're down. Drucko, who's a little too tired to They're stay down here. four, and they recognize it now that Stukes is in the game. In this game. They need to bring it up. Scafidi wants the ball to shoot. He's 35 feet from the hoop. Let it go. Ursine is also no fouls yet, so that could come into play towards the end of the game. If that comes into play at the end of the game and is actually a factor. Rosemont, two away from the penalty. Unless that's for the whole game and not the half. I'm Marcus sure Thomas is bombing right. threes He's today. He's a baller. He's a baller. La Belle Dom, sans mercy. Three. What did you say? John Keats poem. Stop. What? Moby Dick, John Keats poem? Why Malik. can't you just say he... Malik's feeling it. Love Why can't you just I say the, the guy intensity. made a three-pointer? You... So you quoted a John Skeets poem? John Skeets! <laughs> Johnny Gates! 34 coming back into the game. I'm more Lost of a Strucko. John Skeets fan. Oh, it's actually a little strong. Wholesale substitutions here is... Uh, actually, way too many to keep a track. Malik's still in the game. McCongo's in the game. I like him. He's a player. He can dunk. Salt man, two eyes. The guy that works at the 7-Eleven by me can dunk. Oh. Nice look, Malik. There's oh, your Malik's boy, McCongo. Big fella. Straco swatted by Scafidi. Scafidi, if, I guarantee if he gets the ball, he's shooting it. Oh, floor burn. Triple. Why Why? Why do I even need to be here? Go ahead, Sue. I didn't actually say anything that was happening. It's fine. I got excited. 
It's fun. Lestraco kicks it out for three. Rafferty, the best passer in the game. Great look to the big fella. Big, it, big bucket. It's so easy, Zoo. Every time, am I he right? Get him the ball. And he does a good job of keeping it high. He doesn't bring it down where the little guys can poke it. Yo, if my wife is listening, do you hear how seriously we're taking we our job? We are taking this. Thank you, Mrs. Evster. Thank you. I almost you. said your last name. I appreciate you not doing that. I know his last name, though. It's Forvenborgen. Oh. oh, that's a good one. Got to rip that board. Well done, Lestraco. Malik, big slow it down. There. Give it to Rafferty. Clearly the best decision maker on this squad. And let's see what kind of play they run here. I think you got to get it to the big fella. Wow, lots of bodies falling. Matthew Alden with the rare look. They're looking into the big man. Uh-oh. Why not, Lestraco? Uh oh feeling it. Oh, that's a tough break right there. Front and back rim doesn't go down. You know, to be honest, they got Stukes back for Rosemont, which is great. You know, solid point guard. But my man, the Wolf Dog, is now playing off the ball and is not nearly as involved. Here he is now. I mean, I'm not one for second guessing, but would you would you switch up the defense if you were in your sinus? Maybe just you know from time to time. Does oh, good block, Malik. I don't like that call, Stevie Labs. You know, the zone has been good for them. It's allowed them to slow the game down. But I do like to get in your chest and play a little man-to-man. -man. It's a tough call. Bottom Fals line, though. Fouls on McCongo. Fouls on McCongo. Team's first of the half. You're on top of these team fouls, which I appreciate because, to be quite you're honest. Not. No. You're not. I've been staring at that guy stretching in the uh, Where? stands. Where? Where? Why does it get so quiet? On the <laughs> it's the other team, guys. The, the, the hooligans are not doing a really good job of distracting the visitors on their free throws. Number 12, Kai Roberts into the game for Rosemont. He's by the way, this Town, is, Delaware. This Six is Kadeem Diaw on the line, by the way. should probably mention that he's about to bury this free throw. Brang. Clang is right. Oof, iron workers. Whoop. Whoop, 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 Calm whoop. down, Rafs. Nice double oh, dribble. We'll get away Coach with that. We're fine. Not happy. We're fine. Uh-oh, uh -oh. a lot of pressure it's on Nolsey. It's getting a little ugly out here. Everyone settle down. Just get it to Lestraco. They're trying, man. They're trying to settle down, but Rosemont gets in your chest. Good pick. I would not want that guy picking me. Great Ooh, take, Raff. Raff's feeling it. 39-34, Rosemont. Stukes with the old head tap. Let's see what this play is all about. Lansdale Catholic. Good program. Jim falls eerily quiet for a moment. I thought you were going to talk more about Lansdale Catholic's nope, great program. No, nothing about it. Stukes almost went back court while he's dribbling the ball out. 14 on the clock. Stukes very confident with that left hand dribble. Kicks it out to the Wolf Dog, my favorite player, with the Steve Smith spin move to the rack oh, and one. one. Look, man, Wolf Dog can play off the ball, he can play on the ball. He gets to the rack, he's not scared. McCongo is in the yard. Good play all around. Good play. That's your analysis. Good play all around. Good play. Uh, I, I, the defender, he put the ref in a position to make a call. It happens. Sometimes the other guy just makes a better play. It's a very mature way of looking at the game, Zoo, as Rosemont now goes up six mm. as Wolf Dog hits the, oh, sorry, seven. I should let you handle the math. 42-35, Rosemont. Rafferty still dealing with this full court pressure all game. Just Made get basket. off my man. Made basket. Jeez. Nolsey still with a bagel, yet to score today. They're trying to look down low. Oh, down in the right wing. Shocker. Here's Nolsey. No idea why I'm calling him Nolsey. Uh-oh. Good patience. Seven Rose on the clock. Give Rosemont. it to the big fella. Rosemont feeding off of the defense, but... Oh, that's a tough break. Nice play by my man, Matthew Alden. Matthew Alden. I bet the only person who calls him Matthew is probably his mother, but... Yep. I appreciate that good hustle in there, Matthew. Their sinus falls back into their 3 2 zone. Stooks. Stook him. I, I think her sinus might be man to man right now, <laughs> Zoo. Rosemont's trying to pull it out and eat some clock. Well, the one man has the ball and no one's near him. Well, yeah, he's sagging in. Get closer. You could make him get on the five second clock at least. Her sinus is trying to slow this game down. There's a wolf. Uh, Weird pump fake. Six on the clock. Step back jumper. Wow. <laughs> I believe that's Stukes. an air ball for the shot clock. Oh, shot clock violation. Nice D. The rare double air ball. So her sinus goes man-to-man -man on that possession. Rosemont so, holds it for 30 seconds, throws up a booty jumper, and her sinus has it. Down five. 
Remy Ratatouille, Jenico with the inbound. Where's he been? He's right there. More full court pressure from Rosemont. Chance to make it a one possession game here, kids. Let's see what we got. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is Matt, oh. a.k.a. Matthew Alden. Rosemont pressure a little too much. Kai, Roberts, Kai Roberts got a little too excited there. And he's coming out of the game. <laughs> Poor shortly, guy. Shortly, shortly. All right, Zoo, tell us who checked in because we all really care. Go ahead. I actually didn't see it. Oh, uh, I'll handle this then. Makai Clemens back in the game for Rosemont as well as uh, Freddie, Freddie Jones. Freddie Jones, that's a good name. Not actually on the team, but... It's fine. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Matt Alden, Brick City from the foul line. How's that possible to be a college player and hit that brick with seven on the clock? you got to hit that free throw. Here comes Stukes. He wants to go to the rack. He does. Nice left hand. Draws the foul. Going over. Did they get 3-4? No. You got a timeout on court? Coach Smalls needs a timeout. <clears throat> Let's watch his body language during the timeouts. Well, it all depends where these camera girls send us. They love showing us the Rosemont uh, huddle. Wow. Well, Great tunes pumping right that now. That guy is actually laying down in the bleachers now. He's just straight laying down. Here, poke the camera. Oh, never mind. He's sitting back up. Sorry to tell you. Oh, we got the camera. Him. They're in oh, there. Is he still in camera? Yeah, we, he's in camera. He's laying down. What is he doing? Which guy are you talking about? Sweatpants guy. No, that guy at the top row is actually laying down. Like, he's stretched out. This is a very relaxed crowd. They're enjoying themselves. One would think. See, yeah, lay, lay down, guys. Last row. I wouldn't call that laying down. I mean, he's certainly lounging. What would you call that? Now he's, he's laying oh, down. He's he laying couldn't down. be laying down anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm not crazy. Zoo, how about one of? The, how about how about this game right now? We'll do the whole dialogue game where we pretend to be these two referees. You can be the little black dude. I'll be the Steve Lavin dude. Go ahead. Well, I, uh, so, yeah, my, hair, my hair looks great today, and I, I feel pretty good. got my old hands on my hips, and uh, I, that, I I don't have enough hair to, to, to recreate that look. But even if I did, it wouldn't. Well, never, oh, excuse me. i got to go talk to Rosemont. Oh, oh guys, God, you, you got, got two timeouts. Out. Got two timeouts. Here. <laughs> Ball's over here. Inbounds. <laughs> you were supposed Inbound. to be the other guy. You took my guy. They both said the same thing. I was thing. Steve Lavin. They both said the same thing. All Number right, Stukes is on the line. Number Sinus, Robert Rossiter, still not in the game, but cheering his teammates on. As he should be. Man, I feel, let, let the kid get a burn here. Come on. Let's put him in. Let's set a pick. Take Just him Just give out. him a 30-second little exactly. energy, right? Get him out there. Did you see him? In, man, he was killing it. Halftime shooter. On wow. Your boy Stukes. Holy smokes. For those for those not watching video feed, <laughs> just airballed a free throw by a lot. Very, very short. I mean, really short. Yeah. Made the second one, though. But still, the air ball. Absolutely <laughs> it incredible. Was a, it was an air ball. All right, Knowles now running the show for them without Rafferty in the game. No idea why he's out. Probably want to keep him in. He's good. Remy doesn't catch the Lousy pass. pass. Lousy pass from Matt slash Matthew. Got to get a better angle ball. there. Interesting rotation choice here. How so? you think they'd have their best player in the game. Well, they got six on the clock, I'm thinking, in the next minute or so. Stukes brings it down, gives it to Wolf Dog. By far my favorite player. Oh, oh! Remy tries to cheat. Stukes has a take. wide open look. Oh, it wasn't an air ball. There you so go. He's positive. Drive and kick, Malik. Malik. Drive and kick. Malik is taking this. He is. It's his ball. Come on, Leek. Come on, Leek. Dunk that. Uh oh. Oh, oh, no. He's not too far away. Good look by Knowles to Matt. Leak. Great look Leak. for Leak. Automatic. Triple. Bang. Oh. Big salad. Grab a board for me one time. Is that a regulation rim? Knowles. Oh Nothing. My gosh. Good Just board, big man. Oh. Go ahead, Leak. And one. Where's the call, ref? Where's the call? That's bad officiating, right? I, I, it was questionable. I'm not criticizing the refs. I'm sorry. Just pretend that never happened. I was criticizing a little bit. No, he told us not to. Oh, okay. Never mind. My boss. Stooks. He of the airballed free throw. <laughs> Scafidi's like, dude, can I please just shoot the ball? My man number 30 has been jacking it up this half. He walked. Oh, he tried up to a get terrible a, shot. Tried Let's to get run. The call. We're going. Let's run, Frenchie. The sign is going the other way. Then he just stopped. And they're going again. Leak with a little shimmy shake. Oh, that oh, was oh. terrible. But his man fell down. Swings it to Knowles, who still has no points. 
Nice look into the big oh, man. Oh, my. Apparently. Oh, absolutely. Took it right away. Why not 1-3? And that's a tie Clemens. They were looking at a one-possession game, and now it leads back up to six. And more full-court pressure for Rosemont. After every made basket. Why not? Oh, like that from Wolfie. Clapping right in his face. That's good. Kind of wish we had a little more CP this half. Stukes has taken CP's minutes. Oh, that's an. That's oh. fine. It's a little elbow. It's not a big deal. He is dead tired. Got to hit one. One time, Nolsey. There, there you is. go. Leading scorer on the season oh. for Sinus. That's his first bucket of the game. He's got three now, and her Sinus is down three. That's a big three. Big three. Here's my man, Wolf. Calm as can be. Matt doesn't feel like playing too much Dion. He's a little scared. Did your wife just text me? It's possible. Is she. Three second call. We're going the other way. Oh, interesting. By the way, while you're looking at your phone over there, Zoo, we got a three point game. Our sinus has the ball. Knowles goes to the bench for Rafferty right after he hits his first three. I don't know about that. 420 on the clock for all you homies out there. You know what I'm saying. Marijuana. Okay. I you could just spell it out, Zoo. That's fine. Oh, it's legal in many places. Let's get Wags fired today. I'm not telling people to smoke marijuana. No, you're not. I just Nor said would that I. that's what the reference Nor would was. I. Good point. Leak. Good point. Leak. Great look, big man. big man. There you go. Our sinus down one. 45-44, Rosemont. Hooligans are feeling it. Stukes looks calm as can be. One point game. Well, we're going to get a timeout from Coach yep. Hughes right Coach now. Coach Hughes is not happy. I can't blame him. The entire bench from her sinus is up. Including my boy Rossiter. As we pan to the... To the old scoreboard. One point game, 353 on the clock. Back down to the bench. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Interesting music choice. I'm sorry, guys, for laughing in your ear. I think this guy this sounds like Elton John, actually, when, this he, is, when he gets going. This is baby making music. What do you think of this song? I want to fabricate. There you go. <laughs> I mean, this is a slow. Slow. Arm. All right, so Zoo, what's uh, <laughs> romantic what's, what's, jam? What's Bobby Hughes saying to his Rosemont players in the huddle saying, right now? Guys, listen, they're working, they're working Lestraco as as an, as a scoring option, but he's also dishing from that post. So you need to be careful that you can't just collapse and leave the wings open. You just saw a made three. Your defensive rotation just needs to be smart and disciplined. Okay, that's that's not it's not the worst. Uh, defensive rotation has to be patient and disciplined. All right, that sounds like a little something. I don't know what that means. He said, guys, when you do it, do it well and make sure that it counts. That's not what he said. This is what he said to him. He said, listen, you now have a discount. So there's 353 left on the clock. You've been winning the whole sticky game. You don't blow it just because Nolsey finally hits his first three. Big freaking deal. All right, now get out there. Grind. Keep grinding them on defense. So let's go green. Exactly. You, uh, oh, That's what he red. says. I Not just dis they discipline. What kind of coach says they discipline? Rosemont has a lot of coaches. They should. Is that one guy a coach? Is he just like, I guess he is? Huh. All right, let's see what kind of play Bobby five, Hughes calls out of the timeout. Is he leaving? Oh, he's still there. Seen I thought enough. he was walking off the court. He's seen enough. He has his coach diagramming a play. Stukes in the corner gets, gets blasted by Rafferty. Thrown into the bench, probably not legal. It's our sinus's fourth foul. Fourth foul. All right, plenty to give. Now what that does do is you know the play that they were just calling out of that timeout, so you know mm -hmm. Stukes is coming on the baseline right here. Yep, they've run it again. Here's Stukes. Back to my man Wolfie. Everyone on the court for Rosemont right now is wearing the team shoes. Scafidi. Strip, Skip I believe. Feedy, strip. strip feedy. Oh, oh no. the Frenchman. Dunk it, dunk it, dunk it. Yo, my man Makai Clemens is killing in the second half. He's had a couple key buckets. This is a kill. That's a killer for a sinus. That's Stayed all a right, down, buddy. They're down lead. three. It's fine. Rafferty's in the game. He'll handle him, get him in the right <laughs> spot, and throw a weak pass right there. 26 on the shot clock as their sinus takes it out right in front of their bench. Good move. Matt Alden getting some real crunch time minutes here. He's a clutch player. Apparently. Malik on the left side. Back to Rafferty. Gets the a Rosemont, screen. He's got, Rosemont oh, he's got actually so much chant. daylight. Malik. Coach Hughes once again asking for a travel. That was fine. Or sinus down one as Stukes brings it up. I mean, he's 
rightfully biased. And her sign is now in that gritty man-to-man that we've been calling for all game. Stukes all day with his left hand. Lays it up. Nope. No good. Rebound Frenchie. Here comes Raff. Stukes misses the rim a lot. Great look. Malik. Malik. Give him the lead. And, and the U. In the lead. Up one. Malik has 16 to lead all scorers right now. Taking over Scafidi. Or Sinus, their first lead of the game. 48-47 with 2.30 on the clock. Hooligans are fired up. Yo, ask my wife who's taking uh, this job seriously now. As Stukes face. has it on the left wing. In your face. Rafferty teeing him up. Stukes with the, the head oh, tap. So the play here is the guy tapped the top of their head. Two guys tapped the top of their heads. Makai Clemens misses. Scafidi can't Loose get ball. Rafferty's the got U, it. coming back. They got numbers. Four on three if Lead they hurry. Uh -oh. Kick out to Matt Alden who drives right. Oh, oh it's a dunk. <laughs> oh, it's a dunk. Yo, Matt, don't call, me, City. don't call me Matthew Alden. I'm not coming to my room. I'm not doing my homework, oh, Bob. I'm throwing one down in Bobby no, Hughes' face. Or Sinus up three with 157 on the clock. The cute girls running the camera couldn't be smiling anymore. She's psyched. Having the time of her life. Things are idiots. Yo, okay, first of all, Zoo, we've been here for two hours. You've been barking the whole time and whining how Got you needed dunk. to see a dunk. You Yo, got a dunk. In your face, not even a dunk, a half-court dunk. Drive right, threw it down. Three-point lead for the U. Matt Alden, mom, if you're listening out there... Matthew <laughs> just made a nice play. Great Mrs. play by little Matthew. Mrs. Alden. Drove right and threw it down right in Zoo's face. The the camera girls couldn't be more excited about your son. Why do they cut to a ballad every time they go to a timeout? Trying out? to calm us Is down, Zoo. Luck? They're trying to calm us yeah. down. They're the home team, though, and they just got a dunk, so they should probably try to pump it up. You would think. You would think, but people are getting a Is little too DMX, excited in this little place. little DMX up in here? Not at, not when, uh, not at our sinus college when the... The color guy is quoting Yates and Moby Dick. It wasn't Yates, it was Keats. Stevie laughs. Authoritatively <laughs> <laughs> holding the ball. His Just head that. his head is in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, folks. I'm Stevie paint laughs. A picture for you. Ref with a Stevie laughs, gel pushback, just standing there, chest out, holding the ball. Letting Stooksy know who the man is before he gives it to him. Ursinus up three as we come out of the timeout. 157 left on the clock. I'm a little surprised that uh, Marcus Thomas hasn't been as big of a contributor in the last. Uh, He's last been quiet, bit of the but half. my man Makai Clemens is killing it. Scafidi, too. I don't, I don't want to suppose, but I, it almost seems like uh, Rosemont was thrown off kilter a bit when Stoops was reinserted into the lineup. I agree, man. Wolf Dog was really running the show. Now Wolf Stoops Dog is in and there. CP. Scafidi's not getting the ball as much as he did in the first half. Yep, uh, there's a turnover. Three seconds on there's Scafidi. He's not happy. His hands went right to his hair to push it back into place. Well, Rosemont going to pick he up full court again. Down three. Scafidi. 144 on the clock as the Frenchie has to tuck in his shirt. Scafidi, only one point in the second half. It was a great one point, though. Let's be honest. Here's Knowles against Wolf. Calls for Rafferty. Rafferty's fine against Stukes. Duncan Maddie. Simple left hand belt, high dribble and spins. He's fine. Oops. Stukes raking him on the arms. Oh and Rafferty God. collapses to the him. ground. Here comes Stukes the other way. He's going to miss it. Euro step. Whoa there. Wolfie. Triple. That's my man. There it is. That's my man. Wolfie's so Wolfie calm. Wolfie pounding the chest. And here comes Malik the other way. Malik. Behind the back. Are you two favorite players? Gets back the bump back. with the left. Big, Big man. Oh, come on, Oh, Raff. that's a terrible call. You can't penalize him for being tall. Over the back on the Straco when really he was just out jumping the... Uh, Bad call by the less fit ref. The little man who was underneath him. We've got a tie game. One fifteen on the clock as Stukes brings it up with that cool, calm, belt-high dribble. He airballed the free throw. All right, he's doing the old head tap, which basically means he's going to hold the ball for 30 seconds and then he'll get a high screen. Or sign is content to sit back. So they have a two for one. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this strategy. You want them to just play ball? Play ball. Here comes Scafidi Don't with the high screens. It. He got his jersey ripped Suits off. Suits drives. Scafidi obviously shooting. Brick yeah. City. Good rebound oh. by my man Wolf. Wolfie. And Stukes will pull Wolfie's it out. He's a player. Now. He is. Yeah, Wolfie's a player. Holding for the last shot, even though there's 12 more seconds on the shot clock than the game clock. So technically they're not holding for the last shot. But That's they the are, point. They That's are the slowing point. it down. That's the point. 
So we're going to see Scafidi come with a high screen again in about 10 seconds. Rafferty on Stooks. He's a lefty. He goes left every time. Timeout. Bobby Hughes wants to talk it over. And Stevie laughs. Holding that ball. Flexing. Well, actually, he let it down. Now he's giving hand signals to the bench. Great hand signals. All right. Oh, yeah, a little Beyonce action. So, Beyonce, <laughs> what kind of uh, what play call are you calling here? Are you letting Stooks go to work? Are you getting it to Scafidi? I definitely. I'd, I'd want to get it to Scafidi down in the block. Maybe get a foul. Sounds like a great plan. What's the higher percentage? So what are you, uh, what about Kevin Small? What should he be telling your sinus kids right now? D it up, boys. You Short and sweet. Give. No, you have a foul to give. Just make sure he's not in the act. I mean, there's not, there's not much to it. Sometimes you can get X's and O's, and sometimes it just comes down to gut and hustle. You know, you just said it right there, Zoo. You said they have a foul to give. So late, maybe let 10 seconds chirp off the clock right here. And then as Stoops tries his little rinky-dink left-hand drive, foul him up top. But the risk to that. You're right. They get the last the shot. shot. You're right. It's a horrible strategy. That's why <laughs> I'm sitting up in the rafters. No, no. That's why you have assistant coaches. We think this through. Thank you. Oh, this camera goes wearing Ugg slippers. They look comfortable. They do. She hates us. All right, buckle Absolutely up, folks. Absolutely hates us. Anyone who is actually listening and watching this, we truly appreciate you doing this. 26 seconds on the clock, 15 on the shot clock. Every single person in this gym is on the edge of their seat right now. This is what we've all... All 27 of them. I've, we had a count earlier at 76. My man, the wolf dog, tucking in his shirt. He'll inbound on the left-hand side. Knowles guarding the ball out of bounds. Stooks. Oh, they're going to go Scafidi. right to Scafidi. Scafidi. They can't find it to him. Can he's he go got backward? It. Okay, he's allowed. I never know like, when they can go backwards or not. Pretty much always go backwards. Here's inbound? Stooks now with nine on the clock. Scafidi, Rafi like I said, Scafidi in the post. Stooks drives left, kicks to my man, ball. Wolf. With the pump. Pumps, step back, Sorry. two on the clock, drives. Oh, no, he didn't get it off. Nothing. Shot clock violation. Shot clock or violation. Sinus has a chance. 11 seconds left. And the ball. Put in Dunky Matt all Walden. Small's going to call timeout with 11 on the clock. Game tied at 50. They're going to be inbounding from the baseline. You have to go to the length of the court in 11 seconds. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> So who do <laughs> – no, that shouldn't be a problem. I think they should have enough time. What? They're young? Zuzu, who are you giving the ball to right now? Rafferty, obviously the point. He can he can at least get it up to half court. This is not but I feel question. like Malik, Malik. – no, There's no Malik. question. Dude's got a career high 16 points. I have no idea what his career high is. Um, oh, I, it's got to be more than that. He's he, a baller. He, here's, here's all I'm going to say out there. All right, this is my only thought in this last 11 seconds. What's that? Get something going to the basket. If they shoot a jumper here, I'm throwing my headset out. I'm walking out of this gym. Well, I want also, you going to the rack and either drawing a foul or getting a layup. Rosemont's, Rosemont's in the penalty. So may, be aggressive. Make him make a play. They're going to press. You know the press is coming. So let Raph handle the ball. He'll get it up to half court. Exactly. I'd let Raph handle the ball. I have Mastraco set a high pick over to my boy Leak. He's going to drive it, take it in for the game winner. Exactly. And we're out of here. Get these two girls' numbers. I'm just kidding, honey, if you're listening. I would never she, do she that. She can hear you. Just because you have a headset on doesn't mean she can't hear the I'm not talking about those saying. two girls, dog. I'm talking about the two that no. are way up top at the other end of the arena. Which one? You're married. You know who I'm talking about. I'm not oh, serious. Oh, yeah, actually, I do know These who you're talking jokes, about. man. Maybe they'll come yeah. watch the Eagles game with us. That'd be nice. <clears throat> hey, if be anyone nice. wants to come watch birds with us, we're going to be going to... Where are we going? No, I don't know. Don't tell Sly anyone. Fox. I don't want anyone joining us. Shut up. <laughs> we're clearly not going there now. They have a good Christmas beer. All right, At any rate, Remy Ratatouille inbounding we, we the ball. 11 seconds for Zoo to step on my lines right now as uh, Remy <laughs> Ratatouille <laughs> inbounds the ball. <laughs> Full court pressure as they try Leak, to go to Raph Leak. in the corner. He's oh, fine. Sorry, Plenty of time. You. Nine on the clock for Raph Here's as he goes up against Makai Clemens. It's all Raph. He gives it to the big man. That's a foul. Go up strong, That's big fella. Get it out of here, says Scafidi. Free basket. No ball. good. Free basket. No good. Ball, kids. We're going to OT. No basket. Unbelievable. Do I have time to run to the bathroom right now, Zoo? What do you think? Do we get overtime? Of yeah, course yeah, we yeah. get overtime. Right, cool. No, do we, like, do we get paid overtime? <laughs> do we get paid? We, well, we got a bag of cookies here, courtesy of Wags. Folks, we're going hey, to we OT. Yeah, dog. Give me Here's, one. There you go. Thanks. I guess before we go to overtime, let's rate these cookies. Give me a cookie. <laughs> 
And folks, for those of you out there, obviously everyone prefers a nice, chewy, soft cookies. The looks of these, they look a bit Here, hard. Here, girl cookie. Zoo has a, uh, of Give course, I will. Hey, shut up. Let me, I mean, let me say something real quick. My God. Um, camera girl, would you like some cookies? She can't hear me. She hasn't heard a word I've said all game. <laughs> I tried. Anyway, I got an oatmeal You're raise afraid. here. <laughs> would you trade it Looks for Looks like you got a chippy? chocolate chip. No, I'm, I'm fine. Like I'm fine with the oatmeal you raise. Half share. Why not, man? We're going to break this down. Um, this is soft. This, so is this. Oh. Much softer. It looks like there might even be some we, we craisins in it. probably shouldn't here. eat these while we're... I'm going for a bite of the chocolate chip. Don't Feels eat a little... the cookie while you're on the... Uh, Shut up. Take your up. headphones off. I'll handle this. Yo, for five seconds of my life, can you not tell me what to do? Just I'm going to try this cookie. For those of you listening, Evs are shoving his fat face much, with the cookie right now. Much harder than you want in a cookie, but good taste. Little stop, crummy. Stop chewing. Seriously, take the headset off if you're going to eat a freaking cookie. This is part of the experience, though. I'm telling people what it's like to eat a cookie at a basketball game while wearing oh, a headset. Coach you is bringing the fist bump into the huddle. Overall, I think this is a good cookie. Would you like some cookies? No, I'm nope. going to be a professional. No cookies um, for the girls. Uh, yeah, I'm now going to try the oatmeal raisin, which has a much softer feel. See how this one goes. You're honestly d just going over cookies right now. So let's set the stage. I mean, look, Rosemont's going with Scafidi. The oatmeal raisin Clemens, cookie has white chocolate chip. Thomas. I am raisin. I'm Wolfie, not raisin. Yeah, raisins. And some other guy. Who's the other guy? Where's the other guy? Stukes? You talking about Mackay Clemens? You Mekhi don't know his Clemens. name yet? That's I know Mackay Clemens. Meanwhile, this is Frenchie, Frenchie is going to jump it up against Marcus Thomas. Frenchie, I think he's winning this one. He's tall. Gosh, that ref is so fit. Well done, oh, Malik. Way to go Malik get the rock. just takes the ball right off the tip. Sinus has the first possession. I'm putting down the cookies as Rafferty Back. swings it to Malik. Strato looking in for the big... banging. Stepping on my lines constantly. That's okay. Malik on the left side. He drives. Providing color commentary. They're banging. <laughs> Nolte on the right-hand drive. Nice first step. Well done, Lestraco. Can't finish. Frenchie gets it. Holy Jump moly. ball. That's going to Rosemont. Solid possession. That's a good possession both ways. Good offense, good defense. Can't ask for anything more. Nolte had a good look. Lestraco had a put back, couldn't get it. Now here comes Stutes for Rosemont. Tie game, 430 on the clock. Probably the best college basketball game I've ever seen. Or at least called. It's up there. Stokesy. Our sinus in there man to man. I got a lot of cookie in my teeth right now. That's all right. I'm working Told it. Told you not to eat it. Told you not to eat it. Oh, oh, oh. Slid open. Oh, he should have shot that. He slid open. He Stokes pulls it out and taps the head. That means we got a Eight high footer. screen roll coming. Eight footer. Scafidi setting the pick. Wolf dog. Whoa there, Wolfie. Whoa. He got a little excited. Leak with the rebound to Rafferty. Four minutes on the clock. No one's done that uh, bang the floor move like on defense where you like pound the floor to get the crowd Sure, that's it. a dookie move. Horrible pass there by Frenchy. Just wasn't there. Threw it to the wrong team. Got to value every possession. Definitely Here's Wolf Dog. Wolf team. Dog with a hesitation. Definitely walked. Kicked it out to Thomas. Three ball, no good. Scafidi with another board. Scafidi looking to not pass. Has to because he picked up his dribble. Here's Wolf. He's got a mismatch on the Straco, and Hughes recognizes it but gives so it to Stukes and <laughs> Pull out of a clear mismatch so they can get into their set. Here's Wolfie against Malik. Nice drive, left hand to Scafidi. This is it. What? Scafidi. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's Camp Low. Rosemont up two. <laughs> Esther, the bench going into a defense chance. Uh oh, That's Scafidi. Scafidi. Windmill, 360, 360. Or a boring left hand layup, but it still counts. 54 50, Rosemont. Should have gone 360 there. I agree, but whatever. Left hand off the glass. Scafidi's very excited, very happy for himself. Here's Knowles handling the pressure to Rafferty. Rosemont Bench is fired up right now. They're into it. Oh, that's... He, Little that push a, off. It's fine. No, it's that not was a, big a flop. Deal. That was a flop. Perry, bury yourself in the corner. Boom! Triple City. That's Knowles. His second three of the game. He's got six now as her sinus cuts it to one. That's a huge basket because it was worth three points. I think it's safe to say that we know all ten players on the court's names. At I this know point. this is pretty good. Yeah, it only so, took us to overtime. So, honey, if you're out there and you, you know, are, are paying attention, we are taking we, this seriously. Stukes oh, oh. with a 17 foot pull up. That's terrible. Malik He's, with the board. He, he, out to he, Rafferty. He hasn't advanced their, their driving. Bang. Easy. Nice. Nice screen Lestraco by Lestraco. with a little bit of accidental interference running there. 
I wouldn't call it. I would not call that. Got to let him play at this point. Scafidi mm -hmm. shocked he didn't shoot that. He was. Right. Ooh, Knowles right in the chest of Wolfie. Doesn't phase him. He's the smiling. dude in this gym. Smiling. Kai Clemens like swings it. it to Thomas. These kids have found their rhythm. They have. So have we, I think, at this it's, point. Uh, it's a shame it's going to end soon. I'm rooting for double overtime. I'm just going to come out and say it. There's Makai Clemens. He's Boom. been automatic this whole half. He's that now was, got 10. He's in double that figures. That was a good shot. And here's Raff going against Clemens. For defense. 130 on the clock. Rosemont up one. Raff calm as can be. Gets her sinus into their set. Oh. oh. Dribbled the ball off his foot. Apparently, so. Uh, Your mic's down. Oh, my mic's down. Good job. Thanks, everybody. You're so dumb. <laughs> my mic's not down. I just called you dumb. I wonder how long my mic's been down. We have a conference here. What does that mean, my mic's down? That means people haven't know. been able to hear me for the past 10 minutes? Oh, too loud. Oh, you just <laughs> turned me up. Am I, am I too loud? <laughs> Too loud, down. Jesus! I'll shut up. There's no such thing as too loud. Or Thank you, like Zoo. What is going on here? Meanwhile, everyone's talking. Total chaos on the court. Oh, let's take a break. One twenty on the clock. I have no idea who has the ball. Some dude just came up to us, started screaming that we're too loud. Good looking guy. Well. Well, ish. The Rosemont bench is pumped up. Well, they got a one point lead on the road right now. Cookie's pretty good. Whose ball is it, Zoo? Or sinus ball? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I knew. The scoreboard showing Sean Harvey is in the game for Rosemont, but I don't see him out there. How do you even pick up on that? What does that mean? That's number 34, but there's no number 34 in the roster. Well, there's 34 in the roster. Sean Harvey, there's no 34 on the floor. Good point. This is uh, a good song. I was about to say, corny song currently playing <laughs> on the loudspeaker. <laughs> I Coach can't Small. Believe, can't believe you ate that cookie. The rest huddling up. They're talking things through. Probably where to go after the game, maybe Sly Fox. Where, where we will not be. Let's make that very clear. We will not be watching the Eagles game at the Sly Fox oh, I have near an idea. Collegeville. So here's what we'll do. We'll name two bars. One for the ladies and one for the men. So and I will go where the men are. That's what I thought. Fit ref holding the ball so for the fit. inbounds. He's Folks. Oh. oh, it is Rosemont's ball. That's sad. Mikai Clemens. Kai Clemens has been amazing in this second half. He's good. So calm. Doesn't have to um, fold down his shorts um, like some of these other dudes. Um. Here's <laughs> Stoops. Stoopsy. Picked up, up by, by Raff. Raff. He's a lefty. Force him right. He likes to go left. Here comes Wolf, oh. my favorite player in the history of basketball. Oh, interesting. Three seconds? Damn. No. They actually caught a push off on him. Scafidi. Scafidi's been frustrated this half. Scafidi seems to get frustrated any time he's not shooting a basketball. <laughs> he's not, he definitely has any, a proclivity for shooting. Any time a person does not allow him to shoot a basketball constantly, he yeah. seems to be frustrated. He'd be, he'd be fun to play pickup ball with on the street. You'd get a lot of looks. 56-55, Rosemont is Raff. More pressure from Clemens all day long. Oh. Nice and easy to Nolsey. Give a look inside. Can't find it to the big fella, so they swing it again to Raff. Once again, can't Leak. get the big man. Leak's Leak up in, top. Throws it to the bench. You All just right. need a better angle there. Or any angle would work. Alden checks back in. Little Matthew, who rammed in Zoo's face about 10 minutes ago. That was epic. They took him out afterwards because, you know. 56 seconds on the clock. Rosemont up one. Stoops will pull it out and burn some clock. They are a fan of burning the clock. So they press on D, but they settle back on O. Hmm, interesting. For Sinus in no, no hurry to force them into action. Scafidi setting a pick, looking for the pass. Stukes kicks it out. That's Johnson, right? Am I making up that name? No, that's right. Great board by Frenchie. Malik pushed. He's Actually, got a man Thomas. up ahead. Oh, oh, that's a kick. That was a blatant kick, and the ref oh, is on it. it. A little late because Coach Small and Zoo were both freaking out like crazy. Everyone saw it. But the call was he made. He needed a second in the process. Coach Hughes not buying the excuse. Angry. 
I mean, obviously Coach Hughes is upset, but dude, you know it was a kickball. So what? The call was late. Calm down, buddy. It's all good. Our sinus ball on the side. Rafferty to inbound. Down one with 23 seconds left. Alden's out. Lestraco back in. Here's Frenchy. Lestraco is. Kicks it out to Raff. He's pressured by Clemens. Knowles comes off a couple screens. High screen from the big fella. Frenchy open, to Knowles. Open, open, open. Bang. Triple. Yo. So there's a reason he's a leading scorer on the team. Two point lead for the U. Scored. Six seconds left. There's Stoops. Left hand. Kicks it to Johnson. Oh, oh, pump. 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 No. Air sinus. It's all about the U. Gets the dub, 58-56. The refs are oh, flying wow. out of here. They couldn't, couldn't have stayed the quicker. They gone. are gone. Yeah, no refs. They have to get to Sly Fox. And that's it. That's a gutsy win by her sign. It's two in a row. Unbelievable. 58-56. My man Malik, no idea what his last name is. Overcome Malik the Draper deficit. leads the way with 16. Matt Knowles hits a big three with eight seconds left. You already have your jacket on. You are ready to get out of here. And uh, we're going. The, the, the Buy or anything? They cut the feet of the camera, not us. Oh, we, they didn't cut the audio? No, we could sit here and talk for another Freaking 20 right. minutes. We're we not are. going to. Anyway. Scafidi is angry. He's, look, he's walking off the court, shaking his head, clearly angry about the lack of shots. <laughs> had to take in the second half. <laughs> anyway, big win for our size. They're second of the year. The girls have already not only taken away the camera, but packed it up, and they're gone. Rosemont falls to 3-7 and seven on the season. Tough loss. They'd have to... They sort of, I, 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 I hate to hate the harp on this. Oh, the camera's like back cut, on. The camera's back on. Rhythm. No memory card. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks to uh, no one who cares college for yes. having us out. We're that was idiots. very nice. Yes, and, and um, uh, thanks for listening, everybody. We're gonna go watch the Eagles. Excellent show. Bye 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 bye. Peace out, ladies.